They say a story. A king once built a beautiful palace. He was so busy with building this incredible, lavish palace that he was never home. One day, after many, many months of working on this palace, he came back and he saw his wife in a corner crying, miserable. He says to her, what, what's happening? And she says, I'm lonely. What, what do you mean you're lonely? I, I'm, I'm lonely. You're, you're never here. The king said to his queen, but do you know what I'm doing? Do you know what type of a palace I am building for you? Everything is handpicked. The different colors, the different tapestries, the stones, everything is special. This is going to be the most beautiful palace you've ever seen. But she said to him, I might have a beautiful palace, but I don't have you. So what is it all worth to me? This is what the Midrash tells us. In Parashat Vayakel, when Moshe Rabbeinu Moses gathers all of the Jewish people to tell them about the building of the temple, the building of the Mishkan, the sanctuary for Hashem, suddenly Moshe stops and he says, Keep Shabbat. Lo tevahu esh beyom Shabbat. Do not light a fire on Shabbat. What is Moshe Rabbeinu telling us? You see, every day of the week is married to another day. Monday is married to Tuesday. Wednesday is married to Thursday. And Sunday is married to Friday. Shabbat. Who is Shabbat married to? Shabbat is married to the Jewish people. And if the Jewish people are not going to keep the Shabbat, well, it's a big problem. Shabbat is not going to be happy. Therefore, even though we have a great mitzvah to build, a temple for Hashem, a sanctuary for God to dwell in, when it comes to Shabbat, the Torah teaches us Binyan bet hamikdash, binyan hamishkan, eno dochet haShabbat. The building of the sanctuary does not push away the Shabbat. We all have obligations in our lives. We all want to bring sustenance. We want to bring parnasa home. But we must not forget. It's not about the building. It's about the people. We need to go back to basics and make sure that the Shabbat, what brings the blessing, the source of blessing, stays untouched and stays holy. Shabbat Shabbat.